Hi, sweethearts. It's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. So today is Inspire Me Day, and one of you was my inspiration um, for this belly band flip out. Okay. Mine's a little bit different than um, hers. Sonia was the inspiration behind this. What I did was use one 12 by 12 piece. And I, I think, if I'm not wrong, you can correct me in the comments, Sonia. I think that you did yours with flip outs. Um, like, like the hinges, I mean. If I'm wrong, correct me, please. But um, I made this before I went on vacation. So I sat down and I'm like, okay, how did I do this again? I had to remember. Um, what I picked out for paper today is kind of like this one. It doesn't have um as much print on it or it's kind of subtle where it's hidden behind you know other designs and stuff but as you can see like it's upside down here it's upright on this side it's sideways you know it's upright here so this paper like i said was just a little bit more um, design than print now this one has print here but if you look on the back side it's just design and then this one is design and then a blank side but it's a buff color so I thought I would go ahead with you guys and um, I'll try to get two done but I'll probably only get one they are a little bit detailed but they're very fun so all we're gonna need is some scissors a bone folder if you have one if not use your scissor handles some glue and um, some 12 by 12 paper for you to uh, utilize. If you want to make really small ones, I guess you could use like a 10 by 10 or an 8 by 8, you know, but I'm using the 12 by 12 and it's it's pretty much the perfect size for a journal, okay? Because it's about, let's see, it's four inches wide and it is six inches tall. So it's the perfect size for your typical journal size. Anyway, so I went ahead and, and this isn't a pocket. It could be. You could make it a pocket. I just did it as a glue down because it was fun. It's one of my collages. And then I did a fairy theme in this one because it had all the pinks. So I'll probably end up saving this piece for a journal down the road. But anyway, I did a belly band here and a pocket here and a belly band here and a pocket here and then two more pockets. Now you could do all belly bands, you could do all pockets, you can do whatever you want. Um, and, and then I did some stamping because it's fairies. It made me think of grass and forests and stuff like that. And then I used one of my new stamps um, the other day because I didn't decorate it until I got back home from my trip. I just made the actual piece before. And so I went ahead and used one of my new stamps and did some stamping on the pages. And uh, yeah, so it's just really fun. And then it's, it's, a, it's a belly band in itself, or you can glue it down as a pocket. But, you know, I, the intention was a belly band, a wide belly band. So you would glue it here and here. Oh, and then I put a magnet so that it would stay shut. Okay? So let's get started. Um, I'm going to leave this right here so I have a visual. Um, yeah, what I did was, if I remember correctly, okay, so since this doesn't have any, um, it doesn't have any, what do you call it, des design on the inside and everything's the same on the outside, I can pretty much just fold this in half, and I'm sure you can fold it either way first, it doesn't matter if you hold it, fold it in half or if you fold it in thirds. Then I went ahead and I folded it into thirds, okay? And if you don't get it exact, that's okay. You can trim, um, or it can, you know, it can lay inside of itself, like where it, it closes in. It'll kind of lay on the inside. But try to get it as exact as you can. Um, doing your fold. I tried measuring it. I'll be honest, it was just a hassle. I was like, uh, I'm just gonna do the fold and and you know try for the best I can so I did it a little bit off that's okay I'm just gonna pull that up and what I do when I have that happen if there's a pucker or it goes over the edge too far I will pull it back to where it's supposed to be and I will use my scissors or my bone folder and I will bring that back where it should fold evenly okay takes a little bit of muscle because you got to hold this side down to make sure this side goes where it's supposed to 
but it does work to do it like that. Got it off just a little bit still. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to leave where I fold it is going to be just next to this. So like right here so that it has a little bit of room to, uh, to not um, catch on each other. And once I get this folded down, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you can see where it's folding, it's next to it, it's not on top of it. So it's gonna have a little bit of a uh, spine. Let's call it a spine, that type of a fold. And I have a little excess on the edge, I'll just trim off. That won't be a big deal. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Make sure if you do have to do this, like I am, don't cut this edge. You don't want to cut that yet. There's going to be some more cutting, but not, not on that part right now. Okay. Now, what we have is it's in six, okay? So you're going to determine, that is one thing I should have said. If you are using it um, to where you've got print on one side, you'll want the print to be upright on this, at least on this front flap. Uh, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to put your paper, okay, let me get this piece so I can show you better. You're going to want to either, now you're going to want to put your paper like upside down, okay, so like it's going to be, let's see, because you're going to want to fold it this way, yeah, so you're going to want to have it to where trying to figure it out. Sorry guys, I usually do this pretty quick. <laughs> I did it right on here, so I know I know how. Um, I'm trying to remember, because we're gonna want, yeah, like that, yeah, duh, okay. That's what it is. I was trying to make sure this top part was there and it can't be. See, this is the upright portion, right? Okay, so we're gonna want to flip it on its back and turn it this way, upside down. So when it's, see what I mean? And a lot of you probably already know this trick. Just make sure that it's upside down when it's facing you, okay? And so when you fold this over, your front flap will be right side up, okay? Good, all right. So, <laughs> all right, now of course, that will mean that your inside flaps are upside down. However, if you use a patterned paper that has writing in all different directions like I did, it's really not going to matter. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't really stand out. Plus, you're going to be distressing, decorating on top of, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. So now determine which is going to be your fold down. And of course, I guess if you wanted, you could also have it fold up and close upwards. Totally up to you. Um, I'm having mine fold down again. This one's probably going to go into my autumn journal. So what you're going to do is you're going to go along that center line and you're going to carefully trim right there to that corner, okay? And no further. And then you're going to trim on this side the same thing. And on the next side, on the other side, you're going to do the same thing. Trim to the mid, to that middle corner there. And no further. Make sure your tip of your scissors doesn't catch and go on into the next piece. I do that a lot accidentally. Okay. Sorry, my light's off. I can't, I can't see. There we go. I can't, there we are. I can't really see my... It's shadowing itself a little bit. Okay. All right. Now we'll set those two pieces aside. They're perfect for our scrap box or for pockets inside of here if you want them to match. And now you have your two sides and your flap. Okay. All right. That's off a little bit. Look at that. 
I guess my fold was not as straight as I thought. That's okay. It's all right. There we go. Better. There we go. Okay. So now we have the basic setup. Wasn't that simple? And now this is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and do a magnet again. Because I like them. <laughs> Plus, I just, oh, I'm sorry. I'm moving this thing to get my magnets and scooting that all over the place. I used one of your tricks. Now I have to find them. Oh, where did I put them? Oh, gee. Mamacita. Let me look here, guys. I poured, I bought these because one of you had suggested something to me and I really, really liked the suggestion. And now I'm not sure where I put them. Oh man. <laughs> it's a new addition to my, my desk. And so when I have new additions, I have it to have it to not remembering exactly where I set them. I'm going to pause for a second because I got to find these. Hold on. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys. You should have seen me searching. Um, I, was, I was looking for these washers. One of you had given me a great suggestion, instead of using up all my magnets, to use a washer with them. And then that way, I only need um, to use one magnet. And I love that idea. So I bought some, and I couldn't find them. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Anyway, okay, we're back on we're back on track. So I am going to um, let's see. I think I actually might have papers possible. Well, this one will look cute on it. Let's use this one. There. Okay. Wow. Dumped them all, didn't I? Didn't need to. I'm in the same day as yesterday's video, so I'm still discombobulated, to be perfectly honest, about, you know, having my little fiasco of searching and searching for a television cord. It just threw my day off completely. It's silly, but it's true. I'm not, I'm not making it up. <laughs> I think I like those two. Where's my, okay, there we go. Let's get our Distress ink. After I glue these down, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more of these so that you guys can see me do it again and that way we make sure. I showed you a couple times. This is not a mass make, of course. So I'm just, I'm just kind of, let's see, let's get it centered here. Yeah, thank you so much for the washer idea. I would have to go through the comments and check and see who actually gave me this idea, but you know who you are, and thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. I mean, you know so much more than me on things, honestly. Some of the stuff you guys tell me, I'm like, oh, I gotta try that. Oh, I gotta try that. Oh, I gotta try that. <laughs> I am. I'm constantly thinking that to myself and actually telling you in my comments. I have to try it. One thing somebody mentioned today in one of my comments, um, they were watching, I think the alcohol ink video I did for Sunday. And what was it? Oh, alcohol inks with vellum. Ugh, I would love that. I love vellum. Love vellum so much. So we're going to have to try that one because that one sounds like fun. I think. So, I'll try it, and if you guys want to come along with me, you're welcome. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, I just think that would that would be totally cool. Okay. Oops. Go ahead and. Just trying to make sure that 
that is in the center and I was kind of pressing the magnet so that it would maybe instead I'm just pushing it on this side I know one of you gave me like a really good how-to on this but I'll be honest I don't remember what you said I'd have to look back again and see so I'm just gonna stick those right together and then press that down and yeah there we go <laughs> I do like this against that I think that looks cool you know what I shouldn't have put that right there though because now that I'm thinking about it I had stuck it and it worked really well I had stuck it all the way on the back you guys are getting to see me mess up here again <laughs> yeah this is gonna be on the back of here so I'm gonna turn it the other way because no. actually I think I might have to do it there because this paper is so thick it's sticking but not oh wait there we go yeah it's not sticking I'm gonna have to do it here and it'll just hold down that front flap so oh well okay never mind see I don't like that because it's not staying down as tight oh well I'll just put it right back where it was. Okay. At least it'll hold the front piece down. I like this one better though. See, I did it on the back. And this paper, I don't think it's quite as thick. This paper is really, really thick. It's that haberdashery one from Paper Studio out of Hobby Lobby. And yeah, if you've ever used it, you know what I mean. I'll just make sure that these are pressed down really well so it stays down better. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, so I'm going to do that second one. And on this one, I was thinking that um, I was thinking about the direction I want this to go. And so I'm going to go ahead and just use this side as my outside so it won't matter. And on this part, I'm going to use. When it's open, it'll be upright. So this will be the inside for me, okay? So let's go ahead and do the fold. I don't know, maybe I should try the, to do this part first and see if it's easier to fold it in half. We'll test it. Cause I don't really, like I said, I did the other one before I went on vacation and I don't really remember which side I folded first, if it was the half fold or the triple fold. You know, the trifle. So. Mm. I want this a little closer. I think I went in a little too hard. Yeah, you can see it. I wanted it a little bit closer to that middle part than that. I probably went way too close now. No, it's good. I still have some gap there. Now, let's go ahead and do the half fold. I'm going to use the side that I did not trim as my guide because, you know, me and my cutting, I probably went crooked. There. I miss my fingernails so bad, my thumbnails. Oh. Because I always use them. This one's starting to grow back a little bit. I always use them to tighten down my 
you know, paper. <laughs> okay, so that's my upright. So this is this part I'm going to be cutting. I find it easier to cut on the line than to try and like go into the crevice and cut. I think that I get a little more even cut if I open the paper all the way up and um, do it like that. I always end up with like something hanging over if I try to like put my scissors up into the crevice of the fold and cut that way. Yeah, so I'm just turning this so I can see what in the world I'm doing. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Today is what, Thursday? Yeah, today's Thursday already. Well, for me, it's still Monday, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm recording this early, of course. Trying to get caught back up so that you guys always have content coming out to you. And um, makes my life so much easier when I keep caught up on that. I'll, get, I'll be honest though, I was so glad um, that during my vacation I had that all those videos ready oh it was so nice to just know that you guys were getting you know your content and I didn't need to worry because it was there and yeah so now this side is a little shorter so I'm gonna tuck that as the inside and this one's gonna be on the outside um, this will be my outside fold and this paper is a little bit I think it's a little thinner than the haberdashery it's more like just a regular scrap of paper. That haberdashery is really, that's some strong stuff. So I'm gonna put my magnet like I did and then I'm gonna do the one on the back. So I'm gonna do this one first. And since I don't need it to be fancy, I'll just use one of these brown ones. Um, let's see here. Okay. I, I, I hope I've been in frame. I better not watch this video and realize that I'm not in frame and have to redo it or something. Okay. You know, I don't even know why I'm bothering to do that. It's going to be on the back. <laughs> have it. Have it. I have my magnets stuck on the thing. Let me use this one. It's had paper on it before on the thing that my little stand thing here shelf thing that holds like all of my tools and that's what my phone um, that's what my phone holder is on that I use for filming so whenever it moves like that that's why it's because oops maybe I'll do this this way Try to get it as centered as I can. Sometimes they want to stay right down, and other times it takes a few minutes to keep these guys down. The circles. I know I had glue everywhere. Maybe it's the paper I'm gluing it against. I don't know. Could be probably got something shiny on it or something. I'm going to do a little more glue. Maybe I just don't have enough on the edges. Could be that. Okay. There we go. It's just not wanting to stick. That's kind of weird. That's our glitter glue. Alright. Got it. Okay. Now. Um. Oh yeah. I wanted to use, I didn't want to use a magnet, I put the magnet on the back, so I'll put the, uh, put the little washer up on the front. Let's see. I hope, oh good, it's, it's catching. Cool. Cool, it is catching. Now let's see, do I have any pretties that would be good in this, against this paper? If I wanted it to be for spring, that'd be cute. It's a little daisy dot, but we don't want spring. This one looks kind of good. Yeah, we'll use that one. I 
I'm just making sure there's glue there. Okay. All right, that was the right way. I did not distress that, but it's brown. It's okay, right? It's going to be fine. I just want it to go down and not give me a hassle. And I hate when they get all bent up. I'm like bent around the edges. I like when they kind of lay flush. It's got. There we go. Okay. Oh, you know what I did? <laughs> I glued it on the wrong side. Why didn't you guys yell at me? <laughs> This will go, there'll be a pocket here. Oh man, I told you, I'm having a morning. Honestly, I am you guys. I'm having a morning, pray for me. <laughs> like I said, it's the same day. Oh, I totally messed that up. I can't believe me. I really, honestly, it's funny. I'm just, I'm not, yeah. And if I turn it this way, is it still sticking? Okay, it is. <laughs> Brother. Gee, whizzle sticks. That's going to get covered with a stupid pocket. <laughs> Look at that. That's so ugly. Ugh. Oh, Tara, honey. Let's see. I, oh, no. And then there's glue on the front of this button now. Oh, my gosh. How embarrassing. Mm, let's see. What do we want to do? I hope it gets it in the right spot. I'm guessing. I know. This is this is more a sample for you. There we go. <laughs> for you guys. It probably actually just stuck to the glue. Anyway. So, I'm sure that now you guys get how it goes. So, it goes like that and then this and this. Okay? Won't that be cute? It'll be cute once I fix that. So, we're going to decorate this one. At least in part and I was thinking that I would use a couple of the pieces and just maybe even use some of this one that I just cut up for the pockets because why not why waste them right and they all kind of I want this one for I want this one for a um, what do you call it the journal for the autumn journal so I'm thinking that It'll be uh, perfect to, to decorate with these because these have like peaches, this peach color through it, you know. Because I'm kind of hoping to use, I might use this side, it's pretty. Let's see, that might look cute. We'll see. So I think I'm going to do this one right up here as a little belly band. This edge here, and I want to. Uh, I'm gonna round off. Where's my? Oh, here. I'm gonna do my corners like I like. Oh. And since it's on that plain buff, it'll stand out nice. Go ahead. And do a little distress. And I'm thinking for this one, because it's for our autumn Thanksgiving theme, that we'll do, you know, more paper dolls and, you know, pumpkins and botanicals in this one, you know. The one I showed you as a sample was, I had fun with it, but I was thinking, do I want to cover? The magnet, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this one like I did the other one, a belly band. I think that that's really cute right there. I can't remember where all Sonia, where you had all of yours. Hers was so adorable. I fell in love. I was like, I am totally gonna do a video for this one. <laughs> I love this. <sighs> Now we got our first little belly band, and I'm gonna 
do my, again, I'm going to do the rounding. I would pull out my, um, my pretty little cutter. Oh, why are you doing that? Stop that. There we go. However, it, I have to practically wrestle with it just to get it to work. And to be honest with you right now, I'm just not feeling in a wrestling type mood. <laughs> I may have to trim this down a little. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do this one more time. It's a little too wide. Oh wait, gotta distress it. I almost forgot. That'd be terrible. Terrible, terrible. I used to have a friend who I worked with at one of the my first law firm I ever worked at. And she would she was so funny. She she was kind of a larger woman and she was very tall and, and just had this booming laugh and wonderful woman of God. Just loved her so much. And she would say, That's horrible, horrible. <laughs> I can't even do it justice. It just used to make me crack up whenever she'd say it. <laughs> her name was Wendy, and I just loved her. There we go. Okay. Pocket number one. And like I said, you can put pockets all throughout. Or you could do, this, these pages are actually, um, if you cut it like this, it's actually big enough to even do double pockets, you know? So like I could do another small pocket up here, or you can do the belly bands. You know, your options are kind of really open with, with something like this, because you got so many pages, you know? And uh, I like that. I'm gonna use that again. <clears throat> Let's see. Which one? Maybe I will do it on this one, and then it'll be like that, and then I'll do the um, I'll do something else on the inside. That'll be fun. Oh, I have another piece of it. I actually might use that all the way through for my pockets because I really do like the way it looks cut down, and then against. Let's do this. Oops, sorry guys. I like it against this paper. It looks cool. Nice combination. So I realized today, as I was picking my papers for this project, that I'm almost out of my Tim Holtz papers. I'm so sad. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's what happens when you don't hoard something. It goes away really quick when you use it a lot which I did use his paper a lot. You know what I should do, I should have done, is actually scan them in, not to sell, but for myself, so that I could have the, um, just so I could print out and have the printouts, you know what I mean? Yeah, I might, uh, I might do that, actually. <laughs> not to sell, like I said, just for my own use. There we go. There's pocket number two. Ah, that loud clanking noise. I totally don't mean to do that, but it happens a lot, and I'm so sorry if I'm hurting your ears. So cute. Now we're gonna cut this piece down. I want those, that butterfly. I'm just kind of eyeballing a measurement here to see where I need to trim this, hopefully. I'll get it right. So cute. <clears throat> so I don't even think, I asked you guys on Monday's Mass Monday, which I actually recorded this past week, weekend, um, or Friday, but I don't think I asked you, but what did you guys do at church this week? If you go to church, what did you learn this week in, in service? I always love when you guys let me know 
what's being taught at your church. So, fill me in. I'd love to know. I'd love to know. I've been studying the Minor Prophets, and um, I'm also reading Luke, but mainly I've been focused in the Minor Prophets because I just find all of it so intriguing, you know, just to see how the Lord dealt with folks and how he's going to deal with us later in, in the latter days, you know, it's just very, very interesting to me. I'm going to put this pocket here. I think it's a very valuable study for anybody who is especially worried in this season of our world and where we are right now. You know, there's a new show. I, it was funny. When I was driving for Uber and Lyft, and I would talk to so many people, and I am who I am. So even in my car, I talked about the Lord. That's just me. That's me. If it came up, I, I don't hesitate to talk. I don't necessarily, like I said, I don't necessarily, you know, shove it down your throat. But if it comes up in topic, then I'm not afraid to discuss the Bible and, and the things of God. And so I talked a lot with different people. And, you know, going through COVID and all that our world has gone through, I would tell them um, we're in a shift. Uh, we're shifting into the latter days. We, we're seeing it with our own eyes. What the Bible tells us, we're actually seeing happen. And so the yesterday, I think it was yesterday, yeah, Sunday, um, Courtney was kind of scrolling through and looking for sh something to watch. And there's a new show, and it's talking about technology and how businesses and everything's happening in our world. And it's called The Shift. I was, I looked at him and he looked at me. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so funny because that's exactly two years ago even. I was saying we're in a shift and the world is, is going through this massive tumultuous shift, you know. Oh my gosh. I just heard that dog next door scream. I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh my gosh, hold on guys. Sorry you guys. I don't... These neighbors are hurting that puppy and I know it. I can, I can hear that baby crying. She's squealing. And I can't prove it because I am only on the other side of a wall, you know? really upsets me it upsets me I know that if there's any of you out there I'm sure that are animal lovers I, I can't stand to hear a dog cry like that I think I'm after I'm done with this video I, I, I think I'm gonna have to possibly call the police on them I can't uh, I don't know. They're my, they're, like I've told you, they're my landlord's kids, you know, my landlord's stepson and his wife's son. And who knows what kind of, you know, trouble I'd be causing myself for that, but I, I just, I about can't stand it. Um, oh, I just feel so upset inside right now. I, I apologize. You know, some dogs are nervous dogs. Like, my Tippy is a nervous dog. She's a Chihuahua. She's always been a nervous dog. Um, and so she has certain responses that make it look like somebody might have hurt her when nobody ever has. Like, she'll, you know, hunker down and walk to you on her little belly, you know. And we've and she's done it since she was a puppy. It's like whenever you call her, she thinks she's in trouble. I, and we have no idea why she's like that. She's been that way her whole life. Um, and she's almost nine, so... She's never been beaten. I mean, I have no idea why she's like that. And so, um, dogs, what I'm trying to say is that dogs sometimes will have certain reactions to things that you go, why do you do that? You know, like when Tippy was leaving the, um, the babysitter, the pup sitter, 
she was shivering in the lady's arms. Okay, the lady hasn't done anything to her. Tippy was fine. But she does that when you pick her up, when you do certain things. She gets, she's scared of heights. And so she'll like shiver. And the girl was like, why are you shivering? And I go, because she's done that her whole life. She's afraid of heights. And um, it's okay. I didn't, you know, I didn't get worried about my dog because I know her. She's like that. But when you see a puppy all of a sudden out of nowhere begin to wail and scream at the top of their lungs, somebody's hurting them. And this dog is probably, I don't know, five months old or something, five or six months old. So yeah, anyway, here's that one. Uh, I think I'm gonna do um, decor decoration on the front. I was looking at this, that's really pretty, isn't it? I'm thinking something like that would look nice. Let me see. Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted now <laughs> because I'm going to have to, definitely I'm going to have to do something about this. I can't keep listening to them abuse this dog and not do anything about it. Let's see. I wanted to do something that would look, um, I had some pictures in here yesterday and I know I have them where I, ah, here they are. I knew it. I wanted to do something like this. Yeah, something more. Oh, that's pretty, right? These are beautiful. I mean, all of them are beautiful. I could have used these as the pockets, huh? Oh, she's pretty. Uh, I wanted something more autumn that's, you know, I don't want it to be so distinct. That woman was beautiful on there. Maybe I'll do her on another one for a different journal. I slammed my door again. I know I told you guys about that. I just, when I paused the video, I went and I slammed the door again and um, it stopped immediately. Because of course, you know, makes them, lets them know somebody knows what they're doing. And they're old enough to know better. They're, they're adults. They're young adults, but they're adults. That's just making me sick. So. Okay. It's like Courtney said the other day about them, you know, when you're young and you don't know how to train an animal or something, you know, sometimes you think spanking them is going to work. Spanking is going to make them do what you want them to do. And it's like, no, that's not taking them outside on a regular basis and teaching them that this is, you know, where we go to go potty and explaining to them when they potty in the house, you know, that they've, that they've broken the rule in a serious tone. And, and then taking them to the door and letting them scratch and showing them how to, you know, do it and doing it over and over until it's repetitive for them, you know. At least that's how I, I do it. And, um, and it works. Tippy is a chihuahua and chihuahuas are hard to train and she is thoroughly trained, um, you know, and has been since she was a baby. So uh, she was a puppy. She knew to go potty outside. And, and I, the other day when I heard him yelling at the dog, he was yelling about going to the bathroom in the house. So we know that they think they're training this dog. And, you know, beating the dog is not training the dog. It's just freaking the poor animal out and making them a nervous wreck that they're going to be, you know, abused. They're going to be um, a jittery, agitated mess their whole life with human beings because they don't can't trust. It's just sad. I don't know. As I've gotten older, I guess, you know, I don't like seeing something like that. I mean, I never did, but, you know, I take it more serious, I think, now that I'm older. So this says, give thanks. 
I just think this looks really, and because it's going to be toward Thanksgiving. Give thanks. And then this one says, God answers prayer. Prayers. So, prayers? Prayers. not super fancy it's simple but I think with a little dash of gold around the edges and some of this first let me distress this outer part a little bit whoops that sorry silk from our last videos on my distress <clears throat> Hope you guys liked these. Um, I uh, want to thank Sonia for this wonderful idea. I really, really love it. And um, you guys have such great ideas. Mary with her booklet the other day, and this one. And I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna. What time is it? Okay, oh, we still have time. I'm just. I'm just upset and distracted because of the neighbor. <laughs> Sorry, kids. So I'm rounding off the rest of these corners. And um, what I might do on this one is I may go in and do some line stamping here and there um, just so they have journaling space. I mean, so they know that it's journaling space. But what I'll end up putting back here is like maybe some little cards like this, you know, that are decorative that can fit in there like that, you know, like this, and have it stick out just in that, I don't know, we'll see, maybe I need a little bit wider, a little bit wider on those, too tall, wide enough, but too tall, so anyway, let's see, I really like this one so far, what do you think, I do believe that I need more gold, throughout. I just kind of absolutely love this. <laughs> so many of you asked me about this gold, this stick. It's a tempura paint stick. Just in case, it's called Quick, Quick Sticks. Okay. And it comes in a pack of six different colors. I get it at Amazon. I will link it again. I try to, I should probably just put it in my about section and that way you guys can just find it. Um, if I can, I'll figure out, I'll try and figure out how I can do that because I use it almost every video and almost every video somebody asks me what it is. Um, it's tempura paint. You can get it at Hobby Lobby and you can get it at Amazon. Okay. Um, it's between six to eight dollars depending on where you get it and it's super cool. It comes, just so you guys know. You can get them in different sizes. I have them, I have giant ones. I have the fat ones like this. And then I think they make them even fatter. And then I have the long skinny, the thin sticks, okay? So I think this is like your middle size, actually. But anyway, they come with uh, the purple, the blue, pink, silver, and green, and the gold, okay? So, yeah. I hardly ever use the other ones once in a great while, but mostly I buy it for the gold. And since it's so cheap, I would pay that amount for just this one probably. So uh, it lasts a long time. I, I've, I've been doing this over a year. It was a year in July and I've only had two of these. This is my second one. So kind of tells you how long they last. They're really cool. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much again, Sonia. I love you. I love all of you, and I pray for you every day. I want you to know that I pray for you every morning when I get up and I read my Bible and I spend time with the Lord. And you guys, when you reach out to me and you talk to me, you're always in my thoughts. Um, Courtney prays for you guys because I share with him those of you who've reached out and who have needs. And we love you, and we thank God for you every day. I, I am so grateful for every single one of you. I mean that. You, you are very, very special people to me. I want you to know that. You take care, okay? You have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye.